There's a lot to consider when you're actually submitting an offer for one of your clients. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a template. And this template is going to make it very easy and simple to submit an offer in 10 to 15 minutes. And the best part is, once you do it, you can use it forever. And if any forms change, you'll just go ahead and update those forms. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I'm here at AHS Realty Pros in Concord. And we offer 100% commission with a great platform where we go ahead and take care of all your IT, your websites, your CRMs. So definitely reach out to us if you guys have any questions. And besides our commission splits, we have no monthly fees, which is great. And here is our office. There's no desk fees. You could use any desk you like. And so let us know if we can be of any help. Hi everybody, this is Adam Baragzai over at AHS Realty Pros. We're here uh, based and headquartered in Concord, California. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up templates so you can easily write an offer within 10 to 15 minutes. And the first thing you need to do is have a car.org account. So this is my account right here. And I'm going to go log in. And I'm going to select the login screen right here. Type in your username and password, and it's going to let you in. Now you want to click on Access Zip Forms. And once this launches, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a template for submitting an offer. And this will make it super easy for you to submit an offer within minutes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click on where it says templates. And these are my basic three templates that I have set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one just for today's video. And this is going to be for submitting an offer. So we're going to click on new. We're going to go to purchase right here. Residential. And we're going to call this offer 2020. And we want to go ahead and select this middle field right here and if i you have and if i wanted to i could copy an existing template to make it a little bit easier in our situation i'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch so we're just going to hit save now we're within that template which is the offer 2020 right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to all forms. The most important document here is cover. We're going to go ahead and select a cover sheet. From the library. The cover sheet is added right here. And we also want to go ahead and add a few other documents. And every transaction is a little different. So we're going to add in the basics. We're going to type in RPA, which stands for Residential Purchase Agreement. And if you're ever not sure which one to select, always select the top one or the latest edition. We're going to choose that. We're also going to choose MCA, which stands for Market Conditions Advisory. We're going to go ahead and choose SBSA, which is for Statewide Buyer and Seller Advisory. And in case we're making an offer that has no contingencies, we're going to go ahead and type in CR, which stands for Contingency Removal. That's added on here. And we're also going to type in here BHAA, which stands for Buyers Homeowners Association Advisory. In case you're selling a, a home that has some sort of 
homeowner association and we have these six documents in here and the most important document in here is going to be the cover sheet and anytime you update the cover sheet it will go ahead and update the additional information on the transaction as far as the buyer and seller names so i'm going to show you guys that in a second so let's go ahead and click on the cover sheet so right here where it says buyer i'm going to go ahead and put buyer one and if there is a buyer two i would put buyer two in here check out this little box right here and for seller i'm just going to put in seller one and i'm going to scroll down to where it says property information so these transactions are a little different and you can import this automatically and i'll show you guys how to actually submit an offer on a different video and how i'll have links to that as well below and now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in here as far as the buyer's information for the brokerage we're going to put all home sold realty pros in here in the address and one thing with the addresses here you should be able to get an exact match and when you get an exact match you'll normally see the last four digits of the zip code appear as well for our situation we're going to go ahead and type in the suite number and you want to go ahead and put the selling office dre number which for us is going to be this number right here. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in the agent's information here. You want to make sure This information is in here as well. So basically, I got my information up here. It's all accurate. And That's how simple it was to make a template for creating an offer. So what I want to do is plug some additional language into the RPA or the purchase contract. Going forward, it will make it a lot easier for me. And whatever I change on here, it will change on future transactions uh, as long as I choose this template. So uh, my idea is if you do it one time, do it well. And you don't have to keep worrying about all the little boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and check off uh, buyer one, buyer two. And I'm going to go and keep scrolling down here. This is all correct. And one thing that I'll actually do is... I'll just put 30 days in here, but this will always change depending on your transaction. Most of the time, I'm representing the buyer exclusively, and the listing agent is representing the seller exclusively as well. And I'm going to scroll down a little tiny bit here. And what I'll do is I'll check off that box right here that just lets them know that I've gone ahead and attach the proof of funds for the down payment and the earnest money deposit for appraisal i'll go ahead and type in 
14 days on the appraisal and the letter is going to be attached for the loan application for loans I normally do 17 days and these dates can always change depending on the time of the year what your lender can do so always check with your lender and your home inspectors before you put anything in here to see how their availability is and one thing that I'll I'll do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and type in some language to make it easier for myself so I'm gonna put in here that there is going to be a market conditions advisory and a wire fraud advisory in here and under other terms I'm going to go ahead and input this language right here and it says if escrow or close of escrow falls on a Monday or the day after a holiday escrow is automatically extended one day buyers agents to collect keys from super box combination box at the close of escrow and will alert the seller's broker once the keys have been collected so the broker can remove and collect the empty boxes sellers brokers signage to be removed within 72 hours of close of escrow and i'm also going to choose environmental other put tax on here now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the two providers that I normally like to use for the NHDs I'm gonna scroll down a little bit I'm gonna choose that automatically For the carbon monoxide devices and I'm also going to go ahead and choose a couple of things on here in our area most of the time it's going to be a 50 50 split and a lot of our customers choose first American title so I'm going to go ahead and put that in here but the buyer can obviously choose the title company and for sellers they pay the county tra uh, tra transfer tax in our area and I'm also going to choose for the seller to pay for the home warranty 575 and always check the area that you're in to see how much it's going to be I'm always going to choose the air conditioning if the home has AC and I'm going to choose the level of service here which is the Eagle Premier and one thing for who pays who as far as the uh, title and escrow I'll have a sheet attached to this and it basically looks like this right here and this is one from 2020 that we have here and then list out each area in our situation we have Contra Costa County it lets you know it's a buyer and seller split and gives you a few uh, cities that uh, have extra transfer taxes built into them and covers pretty much um, the northern california region here and you will find a link to this particular one in the video box but always feel free to go ahead and call your local title company and get an updated one from them so we put the language in here as far as the home warranty and i'm going to choose all stoves automatically so I don't forget as well as all refrigerators always walk through with your client to make sure that the house has a stove or refrigerator if you are going to go ahead and leave this and I always choose this little option right here in case anybody has a TV mounted on the wall 
this just lets them know they have to go ahead and repair the holes, but they don't have to go ahead and paint it. So that's a great idea to do. I'm going to scroll down a little tiny bit more. And the buyer has 10 days to do inspections. And if you were going to remove any kind of contingencies, you could do them right here using that CR form that we added onto the template. I'm going to scroll down automatically. I always put an expiration date on my offers just to make it easy and clear, but normal time it's going to be 72 hours. And we're going to scroll down a little tiny bit more. And so there's a couple of forms that are automatically attached onto here besides the wire fraud advisory. One of them is going to be the buyer's inspection advisory. We also have the new Consumer Privacy Act. And you can just go ahead and type the buyer's names in here. And one thing that I do change on the form here, if we scroll up a little tiny bit, scroll down a little tiny bit and right here on page four, you want to choose five days here for the disclosures for condominiums. Scroll down to page six and choose five days here as well. Go ahead and hit save. And that's it. So we have a template all set up. And anytime we want to do a transaction next time, all we got to do is scroll to the top. Go to dashboard. Click this little plus icon and hit new purchase offer and type in the name of the property and you want to come down here and we're going to choose the template that we want to use in this case we're going to choose the offer 2020 template and hit save make sure you choose residential Their documents all those documents are in there everything's pre-filled with your information and all you got to do is go through and choose the property that you want to go ahead and write an offer on which we'll have in the next video thanks guys please leave any questions that you have down below and if you guys have any interest in the AHS platform and what we offer, let us know. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Have a great day.